your advice on who to sleep with, I'll ask. Right about the time hell freezes over, the golden opportunity just fell into your lap. Sonny's true love at the moment wants to jump into bed with you at a time and place where Corinthos will witness the event. Kate Howard shows up at that door, pretending or thinking that she's this Connie Falconeri. What part of that sounds like any part that I want to get near? The part where you use her to pay Sonny back for everything he's done to us. She is not a sane person. Yeah, and neither is Corinthos. That's the beauty of it. You saw what happened last summer. The man was running all over town with a gun in his hand. He shot off around in Patrick Drake's home. If Sonny sees you and his precious Kate making the beast with two backs, he'll spiral out, leave himself totally vulnerable, and then we can take him down. Now, I can think of a lot more ways to take Sonny down that don't involve taking advantage of a mentally unstable woman. Hey, Sonny had no problem taking advantage of Claudia. <laughs> Never gave a damn about Claudia. Dead or alive, why start now? John, we both know Sonny killed Claudia. As sure as if he'd been the one swinging that axe handle. Yeah, well, if I take advantage of Kate and her mental instability, I'm no better than Sonny. How many times does a guy have to threaten to kill you before you shut him down? Last time Sonny threatened to kill me, it was because you tried to kill Dante, his son, and you, you shot him instead. I swore to you, that was not me in that parking garage. Who else would target Sonny's kids? Dante's not a kid. He's a reckless, self-righteous cop. And I'm sure that's made him plenty of his own enemies. So Sonny went to the Quartermains, made some threats, so I went to Kate's office looking for him as he was already a suspect, and that's where I found the gun. Were there any fingerprints? Of course not. Standing for Sonny's operation, you wipe the gun down and you dump it wherever you can. Yeah, but I don't think Sonny would dump a gun at Crimson. Have you talked to Kate? No, I've left her messages. She won't call me back, but I need to get a statement from her. And you've arrested Sonny? I mean, am I crazy? To believe after everything that he's done that it, that he didn't do this? No, you're not crazy. He saved your life. He, he took a bullet from me. He would have died for me, but he, he would also kill someone to protect me or any of his other kids. So, do you think that he went after Anthony? <laughs> it's an easy way to get rid of someone. Shoot out their tires on Winding Road. I can see that Sonny would do that, but he did not know that there was a car in the oncoming lane. That doesn't change what happened. A father and his kid are dead. A mother, not much more than a kid herself, has lost her family. Someone has to answer for that. I know you're upset at me, but I'm your father. And you need me right now. I don't need you. I survived years without you, and it was hard at first. I learned to adapt. I'll do it again. I don't want you here. I know. I heard that. Then why did you come? Because, Star. With Cole and Hope gone, you need your family now more than ever. We all know how much family means to you, right? You only murdered your brother, the man that I had come to think of as my father. Victor was never your father. You're not even sorry! No, the only thing I'm sorry for, Star, is what you're going through right now. I believed in you. I defended you. I agreed to help you, and you lied to me. I didn't lie to you deliberately. <sighs> I didn't. I didn't remember ever killing Victor. When you asked me if I was innocent, I, I thought that I was telling you the truth. Well, at some point, you did know, and you kept on lying to me. I didn't want to lose you. Too late. Come on. It'll never be too late for me, Shorty. Come on. Stop. Don't call me Shorty. You are not sorry for what you have done. You're just sorry that you got caught. All the horrible things that have ever happened in this world. If I could go back and change any of them, the thing that I would go back and change is what has happened to Cole and to Hope. I would bring them back to you. But you can't. They're gone. Guess we have a problem on the 10th floor. You did not just do that. I don't want any trouble with you, Epiphany. Then take those scrubs off and get off my floor. Well, of all people know how much Jason means to me. He's my best friend. If he's going to recover, he's going to need my help. And Sam has no... no I don't she's care about your personal issues, okay? I'm not choosing sides here. But Mrs. Morgan says you're banned from his room. So you're banned. You know what? I'm going to remember your sympathy and your help when this hospital wants an endowment from me. Money is tight. And those scrubs are hospital property. So I'm going to escort you down to the locker room where you're going to take them off. No need. Did 
with Connie is a bloodless retaliation. No one gets hurt but Sonny. And Kate, because let's assume she has no idea what her other personality's up to. Hey, we both know the only reason you aren't jumping into bed with her is Carly. I'm not discussing Carly with you. I get it. She's a spitfire. But you know what this is, right? You tell me. Carly made a play to keep her son out of the business, right? That deal was off the table a long time ago. Carly's sleeping with you for two reasons, John. To protect her son and to piss Sonny off, which is fine for her. I make no judgments. But you certainly don't owe her anything like fidelity. Believe what you want. I believe we need to hit Corinthos where he lives before he hurts us again. You know you could get yourself taken off the case. So he said the same thing, that I shouldn't be putting us both through this. So why are you doing it? Because I want to know either way. If he's innocent, I want to prove it. If he did this, if he shot out those tires and killed those innocent people, I want to know that too. Seems like you're always trying to prove something when it comes to Sonny. If people in this apartment want to think that I cover for Sunny, let them. No, 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 no that's not what I'm talking this. about. I'm talking about you trying to prove something to yourself. I, I, I don't know what I'm supposed to feel for my own father. Well, you can feel conflicted. That's okay. He, he, he thinks so differently. I mean, he, this guy eliminates his enemies. If I'm looking at the evidence, he is guilty. Hey, we just got word Kate Howard is back in her office. Maybe she can tie the gun to Sunny. Why not? Hey, uh, can you do me a favor? Yeah. Remember when we were in the evidence room, we found that dust footprints in there? You gave me an idea. I went to the alley where Dolores was attacked, and I found prints. From the attack? That was a few weeks ago. Yeah, I know. I know it's a long shot, but I, I think I'm going to found something. So, uh, I got these prints. I took pictures of them. I'm trying to upload them on the computer. When they're done, could you get them to Dolores? Yeah, sure. Um, you know, also... Whatever you decide about Sonny, I know you're going to do the right thing. Thanks. You know, this girl, this, she lost her family. I just, I want to get this case done with and give her some closure, you know? I've made a lot of mistakes in my life. And soon there'll be a trial, and I will probably be held accountable for some of the things that I've done wrong. But until that trial, I'm going to sit right here, and you can kick and scream all you want. You can do whatever you need to do. I'll be here for all of it. You know, when all hell broke loose, I was just so happy that you weren't anywhere near me. All I really wanted was for hope have the kind of life that your mother and I could never really provide for you. I shouldn't have tried to come home. You should still be in California right now. When everybody was screaming and yelling at me about how I'm so irredeemable, I would take comfort in thinking about you in California with your family. You know, picture you at the beach with Cole walking with hope between you and she would reach up and grab each of your hands and you would you would swing her up into the sunshine. Please stop it. Making stop. Small castles. Star, you made something beautiful. You made something beautiful. <laughs> She had your smile. We did build sand castles together. And Cole and I would laugh because Hope took it so seriously. She would say, this is Belle's room, and this is the Beast's room. 